Hi everyone, my name is Nahad and I will be going over a project that Ryan and I have been working on for the past semester. We are both uh, computer science majors that are taking the machine vision course and we did this project as part of that course. Uh, our project concerns drone detection using deep learning and sensor fusion. Um, so why do we need to detect drones? Drones are becoming more commonly available as drone technology has improved and the common the average person can gain access to them pretty easily which means that there are a lot of untrained pilots who could possibly misuse these drones and could cause harm to other people as well as aircraft and other objects so it's very important to detect these drones especially in scenarios like airports where it could collide with manned planes and cause serious um, crashes or engine failures. Um, so the current implementations for detecting these drones usually only rely on a single sensor, which has its pitfalls. So the issues with a single sensor, which are usually cameras or radar sensors, are that we have uh, issues where that single sensor fails and drone goes undetected, or that sensor produces a false negative. In the camera case, we could have fog which in which, or other weather conditions in which the camera completely fails and is not capable of detecting those drones. And so we need a more robust system that's capable of detecting these drones despite these conditions and leveraging multiple sensors in order to make a deduction result. And that's exactly what we've proposed. Our system uses an artificial neural network to produce the um, detection results and we use both image and RF data in order to do so. Um, the RF data that we use in this project is part of an open database, drone RF database that's available, which we do some pre-processing to. So we take the RF signal, which is quite a large signal, and resample it to be handleable by our system. So essentially we go from 20 million points to about 10,000. Um, and that essentially just keeps the features as it should be. As you can see here, these are the raw RF signals from a drone. And then this is the reprocessed one, and this is the background and um, our resampled one. Uh, we do similar processing to images, uh, which is to restrict it to a single channel, and as well as resizing them to improve performance of our model um, in terms of time. So once we have both of those processes, what we're able to do is use both both uh, data and combine them in order to predict, make a prediction result. As you can see, our data set contains uh, possible uh, false positives like birds, which are often pitfalls of the single sensor based systems. Um, so our final model consists of a convolutional neural network, uh, which processes the uh, image data, and then two deep neural networks, which handle uh, at the higher and lower bands of the 2.4 gigahertz frequency RF data. And we use the features extracted from each of these models and another uh, deep neural network in order to predict, uh, or in order to produce a detection result. And so we trained it on this combined data set that we have had, and we were able to see that we, that we could successfully identify these drones. However, we had some issues with performance and it underperformed some state-of-the-art systems, but we attribute that to um, the small data set that we used. In order to produce these results and combine these data sets, we needed to have a balanced data set which produced an extremely small data set which is not recommended for deep learning projects. So we, we think that expanding this data set and making it more comprehensive will result in a much better accuracy. Right now our model, as you can see, the average uh, has average validation accuracy of 75 percent. Nonetheless, we think that it, this can definitely be improved. Our uh, code as well as papers can be found here and that'll end this presentation. Thank you.